welcome back everybody to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel below. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's get into some NBA player props for Wednesday, January 4th slate of games. We had a two and three night last night. SGA uh, was a late scratch due to illness, so we had five props. A losing night as a group, so 10 bucks going into the pot. Uh, we are at $30 now. You guys are one step closer to a giveaway. We only need two more losing nights to do that giveaway. Also, you guys have voted for what you want to be called for now on, and you chose the Bear Pack. So you guys will officially be the Bear Pack as your community name for our channel. Thank you for voting on that, those of you who did. But on a positive note, after a losing night, we did hit 3K subs on the channel. Uh, so we will be having a one-month membership giveaway to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. A little different this time with the giveaway. Uh, we're going to make the Bear Pack compete with each other on day one of the new name. Here's how the giveaway will work. We're going to take 10 random comments from this video who suggest a prop for tonight. It could be anything as long as it's a valid line. If it wins, you will advance to tomorrow night. If it loses, you will be eliminated. We will play until we have one winner. We will pin the 10 players who will be competing in the comments before tonight's game, so be sure to comment a player prop on this video for your chance to be entered into competing for a membership tonight. That is the deal. That is the giveaway. Let's get into last night props starting with 2-0 Trey. Yeah, I went 2-0 yesterday. I was very happy. I did sweat out the Jordan Clarkson over 22.5 points. He finished with 24, um, but he pulled through. So shout out Jordan Clark. My other hit was Jalen Williams over 15.5 points and rebounds. Finished with 24 points and rebounds. Whenever I said that line, I was not aware SGA was sitting out. So that was a great line for us, and he smashed that over. Um, so 2-0, and and let's go 2-0 and again today. Teats. Yeah, SGA was a super late scratch. Mm -hmm. um, so I only had Jalen Brown to shoot three-pointers, and he put up, I think, at least seven. But in a blowout effort, he only made two and did not get much efforts in the fourth quarter. So ultimately went 0-1, but I'm looking to flip it today. Uh, yeah, I sucked last night. I wouldn't shoot record. No way around it. I looked myself in the mirror before I hopped on here to try to give myself a pep talk for this. Um, Clarks had attempted one free throw after shooting 20 the last two nights. Uh, was his lowest attempts all year from the line besides a game he left early in. And Giddy had a great shooting night, torching the Celtics. They stink. Uh, the Celtics, that is. Uh, not as bad as me right now, but they are bad. Uh, I had Giddy rebounds and assists in that game. I think he finished with 10, needed 14. He didn't play in the fourth. Uh, bad night for me, but we're going to move on. Uh, I'll be adding another 10 to the pot just because how bad my props were last night. So the giveaway will be $60 when we lose two more nights in the future. So let's move on to the parlay lock from yesterday and then player props for tonight. Uh, Trey, I'll have you start since you're the only one that won. Yeah, Jalen Williams over 15 and a half PRs was the one I gave out at one. Um, but we're going to hit on the parlay lock today. Don't don't you guys worry. Believe. Yeah, I had uh, Jordan Clarkson free throws. He took one attempt. Teats. Well, Jalen Brown, seven attempts from the three, made two, just needed one more, missed it on the hook. All right, let's get into props for tonight. Trey, start us off. And we had a couple comments uh, on our yesterday's video about the PRAs, points and assists, points and rebounds, and uh, some states not allowing you guys to bet it. So I'm going to be a man of the people today and give out some basic props. Uh, so let's hit them and go 2-0 and again today. The first one is going to be my boy, James Harden. I wanted to take his points and assist, but I just wanted to be a man of the people and just go with his assist today. In his last five games, he's averaged 13 assists per game, so he's been a machine here lately. And this is going to be a very high-scoring game for the 76ers. The Pacers just are not very good on the defensive end. They allow the 10th most points per game. They give up the second most offensive rebounds per game. And they allow their opponent the fifth highest three-point percentage. And Harden has always shown up to play against Halliburton. In his seven career games versus Halliburton, Harden has averaged 12.4 assists per game, hitting the over in six straight matchups. Their last five games in which Harden has had one day's rest in between games, he's averaged over 14 assists per game. And the most important key to this equation is Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid has 35.4 uh, points per game in his last five games versus the Pacers, including three 40-point games, so I expect a ton of pick and rolls in this game. All the stats trends towards Harden hitting the over 10 assists is a plus matchup against the Pacers, so give me Harden over 10 assists. And then my second play is going to be Terry Rozier over 20.5 points at home versus the Grizzlies. For some reason, Price Picks did take this line off, but it should be up here shortly again. Action Network does have it still at 20.5. 
And the Hornets love to shoot the ball. In fact, they lead the NBA in shot attempts per game. A lot of what I think is due to Mason Plumley kicking out his offensive rebounds for extra threes, and that bodes well for Terry. The Grizzlies and the Grizzlies play right into this. They allow the sixth most offensive rebounds per game and allow the fifth most three pointer attempts per game. Terry's going to be guarded by John Morant in this game and has cooked him in his five career games against them, averaging 24.4 points per game, including three games where he scored 33 points or more against the Grizzlies. Rozier is coming off a massive 27 point game against the Lakers. He's going to continue to try to get more shots since Kelly Oubre is out for four to six weeks with a hand surgery. So give me Rozier to get to 21 points in what should be a high-scoring game against the Grizzlies. So my two plays are James Harden over 10 assists and Terry Rozier over 20 and a half points. Yeah, Trey, I like that Terry overplay, uh, but I don't like the Hornets tonight, uh, and I'm out to tell you why here. Um, I have two props for today, both <laughs> under plays, uh, trying to get out of this funk. I don't usually take unders, but here we go. Uh, my first prop will be, also before I start, uh, shout out Elijah. Uh, here are your under plays for today. You were in the comments always asking about under, so I got two for you today. Um, so John Morant under 27 and a half points is my first one. If we take a look at his stat sheet, you will see that in four of his last five games, he's hit over 30 points scored. Uh, looks like they just took him down, just like Terry Rogier, but he will be back up. His over under is set at 27 and a half points. Uh, tonight, you have the Hornets to score on. Hornets allow 118 points per game and are 28th in total defense. Uh, they allow teams to shoot 49% from the field, and the Grizzlies should score a boatload of points. However, this has blowout written all over it. Hornets won't have Gordon Hayward in this game, and the Grizzlies are getting back Desmond Bain in this game. Sure, Jaw's going to score his share of points, but I'm banking on the Grizzlies to jump out early and cut into Jaw's playing time in this game, so I'm taking his under 27.5 points. My second prop will be Buddy Heald under 1.5 turnovers against the 76ers. Here we go. I was up late last night trying to find where the hell I can find touch rate and time that players hold the ball in their hands. Buddy Heald in 38 games this season. He has averaged 58 touches per game, averages two minutes per game of ball in his possession, and each touch he holds the ball for 2.09 seconds. He only takes 1.4 dribbles per touch, so that means he catches and shoots every time he touches the ball, basically. He's only averaging 2.7 assists on the year, so we don't really have to worry about him throwing the ball into traffic. He will have under one and a half assist or one and a half turnover tonight against the 76ers. So my two under plays for tonight, John Morant under points and Buddy Heald under one and a half turnovers. Eats. I really like how deep you went into that turnover stat right there. Like that was I, that's an interesting thing to be able to find out is like the touch and like how long people have the ball in their hands. So obviously I went one at oh and one. I am the type of person that I like to grind from the bottom. So every time I do Whoa. worse, I go down one layer. So now it's just one player for me. I'm going Jalen Green over his two and a half turnovers. Uh, you know, the, the Rockets are playing the Pelicans. Uh, they are without Zion. The Pelicans are. Uh, and that might bode well for Kevin Porter Jr. That might bode well for Jabari Smith. But Jalen Green is still the guard that brings the ball down. As you can see, he's had... Three games out of five where he's had way over the mark. I guess three is just over four and five turnovers. Um, the Rockets, just, they throw the ball around. It's almost like they try to share the love, but they're also too young and inconsistent for it to be an effective uh, offense. So I like to think that Jalen Green, in all the minutes played, 40 minutes played, 35 on the court, he will have at least three turnovers in this matchup. I like that play, Teets. Um, so that's five plays for you guys tonight. Let's do the parlay lock. Uh, Teets, go ahead and go first. Yeah, I brought you one, and it is my lock. Jalen Green over two and a half turnovers. I just think that he's going to be a little sloppy with the ball tonight. Yes, yeah, so we have two turnover props in the parlay tonight. I'm going Buddy Heald under one and a half turnovers. Trey? Yeah, and James Harden doesn't turn the ball over. So I just decided to go with the assist. James Harden over 10 assists. It's going to be a high-scoring game against the uh, uh, Pacers, so he should get it. All right, guys, that'll do it for our NBA player props for Wednesday, January 4th. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our Locks of the Week, which are written articles that go in-depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. 
As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.